Is it difficult for him touching the feet of some of these beautiful women? Does he get shaky a bit? Oui, bien sûr, bien sûr, bien sûr. Je vais dire qu'une fois j'avais une très belle femme l'autre côté et qui me dit les talons sont pas assez hauts. Alors on fait un peu plus loin, mais c'est pas encore. The lady comes one day here and she wants high heels, but she she was not very skinny. She sat down, crossed her legs, and she said, "I don't care how I look. The most important is that my shoes look very sexy." What is Masaro? Massaro, c'est l'héritier d'une tradition de bottier, mais en même temps, on est ici. Je suis la troisième génération de la famille de bootmakers. Depuis 1894, nous sommes restés dans ce endroit. Mon père a trois frères. Tous of them étaient bootmakers. Et aujourd'hui, je suis le seul qui a resté. Qui était la clientèle pour Massaro Oh, je pense que c'était la clientèle qui tournait au. À that time, very wealthy people who were staying in the Zandom and in the surroundings. Les Noirs. Pourquoi aussi Chanel disait une sandale ouverte. What was the style of shoes like in this time compared to now? La mode a évolué. La mode a changé. The main difference from 100 years ago to today. Is that at that time feet were much smaller and much shorter and much narrower? For instance, 30 years ago, uh, when he used to make shoes for top models, a great size was 39, and today 39 is the smallest size. So, in general, people are becoming bigger. Oui, les gens grandissent. En plus, il y a la notion qui n'existait pratiquement pas de confort du pied, parce que surtout pour les femmes, hein, les femmes ne marchaient pas. Ladies today, they walk a lot. They did not use to walk a lot. They had a car. The car would stop in front of the store they wanted to enter. But today, they need comfort. Together, the name Massaro is originally from Italian. L'origine est italienne, italienne du sud, entre Bari et Naples, où était le berceau de la famille Massaro. Quand did Mr. Massaro start doing shoes and why did he do shoes? Eh ben pour une raison très simple, parce que mon père m'a obligé. Mr. Massaro was obliged by his father, but he did not want to do this job, but he was obliged. He wanted to be a teacher. Et puis il a profité d'un moment de désarroi, comme on a tous un moment de désarroi. He had to come back here. The school was in France for shoes. Yes. Oui. À l'époque, il y avait une école de botterie à Paris. Yes. Ah, so there is a school. Il n'existe plus. No, no more. No more. Fini. Fini. Closed it. So when was this? What years were these? De 1944 to 1947. J'ai rejoint mon père. Mon père, qui était le patron, si je peux dire comme on dit, et mon oncle, chef d'atelier. His father was the boss of the company, and his uncle was the chief of the workshop. In those days, what was the business like? Bon, c'était tout à fait différent par la la clientèle. C'est-à-dire qu'on avait des clients euh, qui commandaient 50, 100 paires, euh, la Duchesse de Windsor, la Comtesse Bismarck, euh, les Kennedy qui étaient des clients. Ils commandaient euh, Barbara Hutton qui commandait 100 paires d'une seule fois, on en faisait 120, ce n'était pas un problème. Fashion was not evolving a lot at that time. And there were some great customers such as the Windsor, Kennedy's, Barbara Hutton. These people used to place order for 100 to 120 pairs of shoes each time they, they came here. 
did Monsieur Massaro work with the fashion companies to do shoes for their collection? Oui, bien sûr. Mon père avait débuté. Every six months, Massaro was making shoes for the défilé of the couturier, but it was really regarded as something of a second importance. the couturiers come to Monsieur Massaro and talk to him about what they wanted, a vision of the shoe. We wanna is it the part after the war uh, companies such as Dior and uh, especially Chanel started to pay great interest to in the accessories and that was the very famous period of the, what we call the needle heel this letter which was very thin and then the couturier would come to him and discuss a lot with him in order to decide together what would be the next improvement, what would be the next fashion. Then the, the, the accessory started to become very important. with Coco Chanel and with Monsieur Faf and Monsieur Dior? Oui, Coco Chanel beaucoup. <laughs> and Alors, <laughs> what, was she, what was she like? Uh, beaucoup de personnes ont dit qu'elle était, j'allais dire sans exagérer, méchante. She was very strict and she knew exactly what she wanted. So you had to be really, very really professional. How do you know a design will be timeless? When Mr. Massaro created the very famous Chanel sandal in 1958, Madame Chanel was around 90 years old. And she told him, if a lady has four sandals, beige with blue, beige with black, beige with brown, and beige with green or red, you can go all around the world and you don't need your luggage anymore. You are taught only by experience and by the time. You cannot know it at the time you will design it. When Monsieur Massaro is designing shoes today, what inspires him? How does he work with the customer? He is working like in the good old times because he will of course take every measurement of the food. Then the lady will have to come twice only for tries. And then, after these two tries, he will make the shoes and he has to take into account a lot of parameters. What can he tell from their foot? Je ne suis pas un fanatique. Mr. Massaro likes very much to see a beautiful foot. But when a foot is beautiful, it means that it is narrow, it is long, it is thin. But in that case, it's much more difficult to make shoes for a beautiful foot than for a deep, deep, wide one. What about examples like the Duchess of Windsor? Is there a way of knowing the customer from what they do with their feet? Euh, je crois que c'est plutôt le langage qu'on emploie communément qu'on se rend compte de, des difficultés du pied à ce moment-là. Parce que la Duchesse de Windsor avait un pied très, très ingrat, disons très maigre, très... So she had strong requirements, she was a difficult customer, and her foot was difficult foot because it was very bony. Where do the shoes get made? Here in Paris? And nous fabriquons tout sur place. Here, in, in this area. For a lady, the price will start at 10,000 French francs, and for a gentleman, at 12,000 French francs. Who are some of the people he really loves making shoes for? Je pense qu'on raisonne en termes de d'exigence particulière parce que le client ou la cliente lorsqu'elle est exigeante c'est pas toujours très agréable mais euh, sur la finalité c'est bon parce que la clientèle qui exige vous fait progresser dans le métier dans la recherche une des femmes que j'ai je crois remarqué bon, pas... because the customers have strong requirements that he's obliged to maintain a top quality all the time so you see he is stimulated in fact by the requirements of the, the customers Un jour, elle est rentrée un monsieur qui s'est assis le plus. One day, a customer came here and he asked Mr. Massaro, may I enter? 
may I sit down and may I dream just for five minutes? The man says, when I was a child, I used to come here with my father. He ordered his shoes in your factory and today I can feel this atmosphere again and the name of the man was Mr. Benizelos, Prime Minister of Greece.